Hey friends, I've got a great recipe for you tonight. Butternut squash with linguine, it is outstanding. And I could attest to it because we just had it for dinner. Let me show you how we make it. Here's everything you're gonna need to make this fantastic fall and winter pasta. About a pound of linguine, fettuccine, spaghetti, whatever pasta you might like. Two and a half cups of butternut squash, diced into half inch pieces. 12 to 15 sage leaves, minced a tablespoon of minced garlic, the zest of one or two lemons, a little over a tablespoon of minced lemon zest, six tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, and a good pinch of red pepper flakes. I've started heating the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and add our butter and the olive oil. Now, this sauce is a burl e salvia, which is uh, butter and sage. Typically, this is done to a brown butter sage. I don't do it in this recipe that far. So I'm gonna go right ahead and add my squash. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the pasta in. I've heated up that water, brought it to boiling with about three tablespoons of salt. And we're just gonna cook this squash till it's brown, but not getting mushy. After a couple minutes here, I'm going to go ahead and add my sage. It's been about four minutes now. I'm going to give it a good flip. And I can see it's starting to brown nicely. If you wanted to be a little less risky, you could make the sauce totally ahead of time. Cook the pasta and reheat it all together. It'd be just exactly the same. We're at five minutes here now on the squash. I'm going to go ahead and add our lemon zest. And our garlic. Gonna give that a good stir. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the burner. As I turn off that burner, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my pinch of red pepper flake. And give that a toss. So this pasta takes eight minutes to cook. It's now at seven. So I'm gonna turn on my burner again under the sauce and add the pasta. And I'm gonna add about a cup of the pasta water, which is what makes your sauce. And we're gonna finish cooking that pasta until it's absorbed that water. Maybe a little more here. Now that's been about another minute. The pasta's done. I'm going to taste it for salt. And we're ready to plate. I'm going to add some good quality extra virgin olive oil right over the top. And I'll sprinkle it with a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. And there is a wonderful pasta. Enjoy! I'm sorry. I'm just laughing because I just watched the news. Yeah. Thanks again for watching another exciting episode of Scratch Cook with John. I sure appreciate you coming and watching, and we'll have a lot more for you. Enjoy your night, and we'll see you again soon.